Hey there, Gemini. Welcome now to Thursday. Well, it's a sunny day with a chance of rende for the twins of the zodiac. That's because the moon is well into Capricorn, your house of intimacy, boundaries, sex, death, and taxes, as they say in classic astrology. But the moon has moved off of Capricorn, so no longer are you being asked to let go of emotional attachment to old ways of intimacy or old ways of sex. Today, with the moon in Capricorn, really unaffected by Pluto, great day to invest in certain boundaries. But be advised, you can either be really randy and want to connect with someone, or you can take it to the dark side of the moon and be anxious and want no one in your space. So if you find yourself being very anxious, the best way to manage that is to control your space. Put yourself into a nice space. We're not picking up on other people's energy trying to penetrate you, so to speak. So been around in the sun. We're at 29 degrees of Pisces. That's also adding some anxiety to the day. The 20th degree is always the most intense degree. We have the least patience. We just want to move on already. The topic for Gemini's has been, of course, your career and your legacy all month long. So when it comes to career, when it comes to legacy, best thing to do is just to move forward, not think about it, not feel about it. Everyone is anxious and ready for the next lesson. Then lastly, Venus in Aries and retrograde. Now, Venus is the planet of creation vibration. It shows us where we're going to plant seeds of things that will grow into great crops in our soul garden later. But when it's retrograde, we are rethinking what we should plant and where we should plant it. And with Venus and Aries for you, it comes down to your social life, your reputation. Geminis are rethinking how they want to be seen in society, how they want people to see them, what they want their business title to be officially on their business card. And so in the next couple of weeks, Venus will be squaring Pluto, which means that you'll be probably dealing with some fears with who you want to be in society and certain boundaries. So a good example of this may be even with sexuality, for instance. If you have a different sexuality than the mainstay of society, you may be afraid about coming out. You've got to face these fears of with your intimacy and where your boundaries are and how you're seen in society. It's time to face them and move forward. Everything will be okay. Remember, fear is the only thing on the planet that blocks light. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So